Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Outside Plays Sword and Sorcery. I have a bit of a cold today, but I hope that we can still enjoy this game together. So, this episode's probably going to be a bit short because of my throat. <laughs> As you can probably hear, I sound a bit different than usual. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a little bit done with this game because it has been far too long since we've played together. So, here we go. Okay, girl. There we go. Where are we? What are we doing? What's up, Archetype? The silver of a crescent moon has appeared, marking the start of a new 28-day lunar cycle. Hmm. Were we trying to get to that place? This place here? I think we were. If memory serves me correctly. We do have the key, yeah? We do, okay. So, we're trying to get... I think the full moon first. Right, okay, so here we go. This door would have been locked without this key that we got from the grizzled boar. Now I'm pretty sure this isn't considered cheating, unless you just want to wait around and wait for the moon cycle to actually change in real life, but that would take a substantial amount of time. Yeah, luckily. So this here is called the moon grotto, and essentially here we're able to change the moods of the moon some sort of ancient magic. Here we are. There should be a seat right here. Now we're gonna wait until it's full moon. Almost. Okay. Perfect. What's up, that book? Archetype. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I see you've managed to alter the mood of the moon in the moon grotto. I wonder how long this time paradox will last. I'm not entirely sure, because I'm the type of person that gets right down to business. That happens a lot actually. If I have to write an essay, or if I'm drawing something, or if I'm writing a short story, I always get it done in one sitting. <laughs> I, I've i never really done things in two sittings, unless I have no other choice. But playthroughs are different, of course. Girl says, I'm kind of feeling like maybe the cosmos just skipped a beat, and now everything is just a little bit off. Well, that's because that's true. It's a long way from zero to one, and if an alien said hello, I'd be in a cryptic code on the stereo. W wait, what? I think that might be some sort of lyric from a song I'm not familiar with. <laughs> oh well. Probably John by Jim Guthrie, but... Um... Okay, what are we doing now? We are... Do we need to go to sleep? Let me think. It's been a while since I played this game. Um. Yeah, I think we need to go to sleep now. Let's head back to the cottage. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Seems we'll have to be attacked. That's fine. We can handle him. He's not very tough. Bring it. Swing. I'm ready for you, bro. There's no way to avoid him, so I'll just fight him where we are. Okay. This sounds so cool with headphones. <laughs> Come on. Bring it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not entirely 
really sure how his shield sounds like a dragon, but maybe it is a dragon. That would actually be pretty cool. A shield dragon. <laughs> it's just like that, we chopped him in half. It's all good. You know, I always assume that the Scythian was just some sort of wanderer who did just, you know, felt like taking a walk one day and found herself far, far away from home, but apparently she is a warrior monk and she's set on this mission. I thought she was just doing it because she was bored. <laughs> and she got a bit too, uh, too into it. You know what I mean? I guess not. That's fine. I like the idea of a warrior monk. That's really cool. Actually, in Diablo 3, I'm a warrior monk. Well, female monk. Is it the opposite of a monk a priestess? So, I guess I'm a warrior priestess in Diablo 3. I don't actually play that much, so don't get your, your panties in a twist and such. Or excited. Twisted or wet, I don't know. I don't play that much. It's very simple, you just have to click a lot. But I hear once you get farther in the game and you actually level up and get more more weapons and such, it becomes a bit more complicated. That's fine. I don't think I'm ever gonna get that far though. <laughs> I just play it when I don't feel like playing anything else. I don't think these guys have anything interesting to say. So, we're just gonna go to bed. Okay, take a nap, girl. Yep, side B. Let's go. I'm sorry if you hurt me, uh... <coughs> cough and such. I am really trying not to. Okay. Dream. Okay. Let's go. Am I the only one who's a lot happier when she's asleep? It's in my dreams, it's just so much better than being awake. I hear one. There it is. Come down here, girl. We have work to do. Okay. Sing a song, sorcery, please. And I think we need to bring these ducks over here. Yeah, it looks like a mom duck and all her babies. We need to bring them all back together. Come on, duckies. Bright moon looms, and we just woke a sylvan sprite from the still waters of a lake where a mother duck was freaking out. <laughs> we have all our mushrooms in there. Yeah. Dog. Bark, 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 sniff. I know you seek to avoid your fated martyrdom, but know this time is a force, and it will surely take its course. I suppose. Oh, here's another one. Reflect. Oh yeah. I have to look and see. Let's charge ourselves up. Now we have to look for things that aren't reflected.
The bright moon moons that we just woke a sylvan sprite where the lake's reflection was ever so slightly incongruous. That's this. I can't quite remember where the other one was. It was three. spoke a sylvan sprite who slumbered in the lake beneath a trifecta of owls. That's my phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, someone else will probably answer the phone. <laughs> Hopefully. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what our dog has to say. Bark, bark, bark. There are two types of unknowns, the known unknowns and the unknown unknowns. That's, that could be true, yeah. There are also unknown nouns, although these are easily learned. <laughs> oh, wow. There was a lot of In my experience, there are times when owls are not what they seem, and at other times they're just plain old owls. <laughs> Yep. My logs have many secrets. Secrets about sylvan sprites and impossible islands. Unfortunately, I don't speak log language. <laughs> That's a shame, I suppose. Um, where do we need to go with these sylvan sprites? <laughs> uh, do we go across the lake? I'm not sure. We'll have to go and look. Ah, uh, my brain. Hey dog, what are you doing here? I don't quite remember what he wants to show us. Ah. We need that. Okay. There we go. This one. Bright moon looms that we just woke a sylvan sprite looking at the root of a titanic tree. What's up, dog? Does he want us to go inside? Inside a titanic hollow tree, we approached a solitary grave and a badass ghost showed up to sing us a mad rhyme. Seek the sylvan sprites on the path behind you, with eyes and ears open for their sonorous spumes. Send all five sylvan sprites skyward to enact a miracle that will attract the trigon you seek. 
We have four out of five, I believe. Alright. What's up? Malcolm, there's a saying up here in the Caucasus that a forest needs a fire like the fire needs the tree. That's true. There are a lot of weird sayings up here amongst the mountain folk of the Caucasus. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. That makes sense though, because forest fires are completely natural. Because you need to have dead trees and leaves burn so that they release all these wonderful nutrients for new, new growth to appear. It's just natural. Everyone always freaks out when there's a forest fire, but I suppose that's because people's homes are in the forest. Still though. Uh, where is our... Where is our sprite? We have... Four out of five, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Ugh, no, I don't feel like dealing with you right now. There you are. <laughs> uh, no. Bye. Maybe we missed one. Somewhere. Excuse me. <clears throat> we definitely need to go and investigate. I are. <laughs> hmm. Not entirely sure where to look. <clears throat> playing something. Hey Jim. While the bright moon looms, we met a mysterious musical fellow beside a crackling fire. He introduced himself as Jim Guthrie. Hey Jim, how you doing? We just woke a sylvan sprite in a hidden grove where Jim Guthrie happened to be hanging out. We got that peculiar feeling that it was maybe just a maybe a time of miracles. So it seems you've made a significant amount of progress in your effort to locate and tame the bright moon trigon. Very nicely done. Thank you. 
<clears throat> We've been quietly monitoring your actions, and we'd like to point out that the longer the hesitation, the smaller the celebration. Perhaps you have already heard about an impossible island under a looming bright moon. Maybe you read about it on the internet? No, I actually know what you're talking about because I figured it out myself the first time I played. I've got this song in my head, a happy and sad little song that fills me with a weirdly beautiful dread. That's nice. That's really nice. Good. Let's rock. <laughs> okay. sit back and listen to this for a while. That's so pretty. I was supposed to play the tune he was playing on the bushes. Uh, um, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry to say that uh, I uh, I might be tone deaf because I can't figure that out. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. But I did notice the more I played, the more red the area around the fire I got. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure we have to go to that gigantic tree. Like, I'm 80% sure. Not sure where else we would have to go. Ah, right. The island. <laughs> the impossible island. things up the night. What? Seriously, I'm busy right now. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was the uh, the gogolithic mass. We have business to do. <clears throat> it looks like a mouth. Blah. Hmm. Don't worry about it, girl. We got this. So, let's defeat this thing. And then I think we'll end the episode for today. Oh. While the bright moon looms, we have enacted a super weird moon miracle on an impossible island in the midst of a placid lake. That we have. Everyone needs a hobby, I suppose. Come on, girl, let's go. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We got this. Here we go. <laughs> Don't worry about it, bros. We're fine. It's just a bit more complicated than the last one, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. Music is always so cool when you fight these things. With headphones? My God. Hopefully I don't die. Please don't die. I need to have my wits about me. I don't want to do this twice. <laughs> okay, concentration, girl. Now we need to concentrate. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm sorry. Jesus. Defeat me trying it would be impossible, but I am a warrior monk, priestess. I got nothing on me, girl. What's this? Okay. Stick on.
Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Ugh. How about... How about... Wake up, girl. I'm sorry. You're okay. Everything's fine. This is what I feel like right now. <laughs> What's this thought? You may have noticed the bright moon trigon delivers death from above, so wait for the right time and tap your shield to evade. Thanks for that archetype. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm actually gonna end this for today, and next time when hopefully I'm not sick, we will play this, and we will defeat this stupid dragon. Because then I'll be able to think straight. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time uh, when we play Sword and Sorcery and defeat the, well, red dragon. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll see you later.